dropped a nuke, right? Well, here we are. The season four finale of Better Call Saul. As always, I'll have predictions. But first, a, a quick announcement. Um, obviously, season five is not on Netflix. I've been mentioning this for a while. And a bunch of people have mentioned comments that just get like NordVPN or some other VPN service. And then that'll allow you to like geographically shift so you have access to shit like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to do it as like one of these free trials. It takes a month. You know, you get a free month. Um, but I'm going to have to research on which one I want to do. I may even be something I want to keep. You know, so I'm just, so I need to take some time to do that. And I'm busy with some other videos and shit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a few weeks off from Better Call Saul, figure out this whole Nord thing, you know, record all the episodes and start doing some reactions and stuff like that. And then start releasing these episodes of season five on my Memorial Day marathon, you know, uh, so this is this episode is premiering on uh, April 26th, which means you're waiting about a month. Basically, you're going to take a month off uh, from this for the, before we start doing season five. Then I'll drop two episodes for the marathon, and then we'll go back to the weekly schedule on Mondays and shit. So basically, taking a month off just so I can get my shit together. You know, it's not something I want to try to rush. And uh, also, I want to I want to finish uh, some recording at least recording my Sopranos things. Before I do anything that fucks up, like, my internet or, you know, may lock me out of some websites or shit. I don't, because I don't know this shit. Like, I may, it might fuck some shit up. So, um, the, the Sopranos reactions are very important to me. So, I want to finish recording that. And there's other reasons. You know, so, it, I may be overthinking it all. But, like, basically just, the point is that uh, we'll be taking a month off. Which is better than waiting six months for it to be officially released in, uh, the United States Netflix, you know, because they'd be waiting until whatever the fucking season comes out. Greedy fucking holding back Disney vault ass motherfuckers. Just, you got the shit, fucking release it. It's been over a year since season five premiered. Give us our shit, bitch. <laughs> I mean, they forced me. It's not something I want to do. I'm not trying to cheat them, you know. I, I really don't believe in pirating because I'm a, I'm a content creator. I'm an indie filmmaker, you know. And uh, I had one of my movies pirated one time and, you know. And you don't make any money as an indie filmmaker. So, like, that really hurts you. So, I just, I don't like pirating, you know. So, I'm not going to do it. But they forced me to this. So, here we are. Okay, season predictions. The season finale predictions. I think, basically, Mike's going to take center stage for the season finale. In other season finales, he's barely been in it, if at all, you know. And in other season finales, the other characters have had their day in the sun. I think this is his day in the sun. I think there's, there's going to be a... I think he'll have at least... 40 to 50% of the episode, which usually he gets about 10, 15, maybe 20%. Because I think they're going to resolve this whole Warner thing this episode. You know, he's going to track the motherfucker down, he's going to show his little tracking skills, and he's going to bust the cap. What's interesting about this is, like, you would think that Gus would blame Mike and just be like, okay, we're done, you know, thanks, here's your check, Bye bye uh, Apparently he doesn't, because we know in the future, of course, obviously Mike's his most trusted uh, concierge, or whatever they call it in the fucking mob. Um... So, something, you know, maybe the fact that Mike catches him, that's why I'm convinced, I'm 100% convinced this guy doesn't get away. Because if Mike doesn't catch him and he let him get away, I just don't see Gus, you know, sticking with it. And we know he does. So, there's that. Uh, also, I guess we probably will get this uh, slip in Kimmy scheme for him to get his law license back. So, like, that'll definitely happen. Those two plot lines don't really leave room for much else, so I probably won't be much about Nacho this episode. You know, uh, very little in that Lala guy. I think they did their job. They spent two episodes setting up next season. So he'll be next season's big bad. So maybe there'll be a, maybe a quick scene or two with him, you know, but probably not much with that. So that's about it. But yeah, and I, obviously, like, he does get his law license back and he's going to be a Saul Goodman. We know this, right? Like, that's a fact. It's always seeing so It doesn't matter that we know that. What matters is how he does it. And I think it's going to be a cool way. I think Slip and Kennedy's scheme is going to be fucking cool, as always. As they always are. So, without further ado, let's get into this shit. And I see this is a long way. This episode is like a fucking hour long, man. I stand before you to vouch for my brother, Nice to see him again. James Morgan. Yeah, I miss this guy. He's great. I'm not drunk enough for a second, though. I mean, it's karaoke. What are you going to do? Or I think they pronounce it karaoke. Jesus Christ, dude. 
you're not leaving already, are you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jimmy, it's been great fun, really. It has, but I got early. Yeah, meetings. we can tell. It's fun. Ten minutes. Leave now. Tomorrow you're going to go to work, and people are going to tell you how great my performance was. You're yeah, never your performance is going to be missing. All right, all right, Jimmy, I'll stay. Really, really you never regret it. Now, come on, this is me. <laughs> He's going to make Chuck do a duet with him. About things we've gone through. I'm not drunk me. enough for this. Unbelievable, man. Holy shit. <laughs> I knew he's going to try to pull him up there, though. I knew it. Dick. I can't even recognize what song this is because it's so fucking bad. Yeah, see, he can actually sing. I knew it. You got him. You got him. Is all. Part of the plan. See, now I recognize the song. With Jimmy singing, I literally could not recognize the song. Now I know what they're singing. Hey, you got to tell Howard uh, to add another M to the firm. Cause it'll... Yeah, that's not happening, dude. Three M's already taken. Hands and two feet. Man, he really is drunk. Um, He's a terrible reactor. We could get by with one <laughs> I submit to the chorus. Uh, it's overkill. Eight no, eight it has seven. to do with how many babies you can you get, have on average, right? <laughs> Humans have one baby on average, so they have two nipples. You know? However many nipples you have, that's the average baby. So if they have eight nipples, they average four babies. Good night, Chuck. Good night. This is almost sweet. The winner takes it all. Oh, shut the hell up. <laughs> yeah, he's pissed. He's got a three headed to the airport. That knows way around town. Search every dog house, road taxi, house, warehouse. You should have knew, motherfucker. Al Albuquerque branch on Ford. I should have known. Smart man. Thanks. That's where he's going to bust a cat. So not only is this motherfucker not making money, he's losing money on this trip. Chuck's brother? That's right. I'm Jimmy. Ken. Greenfield. This is Emily. It's all part of the plan, I assume, somehow. Anniversary. I can't believe it's been a year. It still doesn't make any sense. I mean, people have explained it to me, and it doesn't make sense to me either, but I get it. It's probably has something to do with his ego. His ego just couldn't handle. Chuck's ego could not handle the fact that his condition was psychosomatic. So, I mean, it makes sense in that to, to that point, right? It makes sense. It just, it just doesn't resonate for me. You better pace yourself, though. It's going to be a long day. Yeah, it yeah. is. But I was afraid no one would show up. This would have been a long day, if not. How'd it feel? Felt like I looked sad. Dick. Easier to hit one of these drugs, eh? And Mike's distracted right now. Of course, I think that Mike's only is the only in charge of this one operation. So this isn't Mike's department anyway. Another character who puts the work in, by the way. Bunch of them leave. Perfect time to hit the place. Mention on top of that, he's a diabetic. He doesn't have his medicine. And my wife is beside nice story. himself. Or I was hoping I would he's get good. her ahead of He's him. real good. <laughs> I might have a... A peek at your Dude. security video. See who got him. That's a little too far. Then, uh, could you tell me where the nearest hospital is? <laughs> Nicely played, sir. <laughs> half hour. Sure. Good luck. Hope you find him. <laughs> the nearest hospital. That was like what a brilliant stroke. Is that that uh, spa? That Oasis? That spa? Is that Chuck Spa? I mean uh, Jimmy Spa. <laughs> You know what I mean? Nail salon. She's on a Lufthansa flight. Landing in Denver nine hours from now. He's on this shit. And your men will be there. She must have some fire pussy, man. And then? You know what? There's another way to play this. You are left with the most expensive hole in the ground this side of the Mississippi. They're not going to kill him. Fascinating. It makes sense. Like, you, you need him. him. 
This is on me. I'll fix it. Yep, this will impress her. Hey there. Did you find your brother-in-law? Is he okay? <laughs> Obviously, he's still looking, dude. You see how yes, urgent he was. I'm a conservation under that name. This guy's gonna fuck this up somehow. I get things now. Mr. James Miguel paid for the reading room himself. Oh really? shit! The brother did this. I saw him write the check. Nice, nicely done. They got him on video saying he did pay for it. Isn't that him? Not them? <laughs> oh, you, he <laughs> said. <laughs> even a year out, an event like this could be. <laughs> God, he's a dick. I better go check. You're doing great, kid. Almost time to go back in. $23,000. I can't believe I wrote a $23,000 check for this. Jesus. Of flames. Her clerk's chamber's on fire. Nice try, trapped. dude. But then, through the fire and smoke, a figure emerges. It's Jimmy McGill. See, I rescue a judge. Now that people are going to talk about. You need to let Slip and Kimmy do your thinking for you. Jesus. How I come back from insincere. <laughs> you want to go back in? Get your money's worth? Yeah. I'm starving. Those little hamburgers are looking good. I, I'm allowed to pay for the food, but I'm too sad to eat. Goddamn right. Hit, hit fucking McDonald's on the way home. No, thank you. You have a nice day. Got him. Yeah, and got him too. I picked up a friend. Yeah, they knew. They knew what we were gonna think, motherfucker. They did that shit on purpose. They knew exactly what we were gonna think when he reaches for the gun box. You trying to play us, play with our expectations. I feel manipulated. <laughs> Put the gum in there so he can't get in. This is very smart. I thought, anyway. Maybe he'll put it in so he can't get out. Well, he ain't chewing gum for no reason. <laughs> in my part, one more just say this for goddamn sure. <laughs> like, he literally just doesn't even give a shit why somebody's following him. He just knows they ain't gonna be. This makes a ton of sense, too, because he used to work in one of these places, so he knows intimately how these machines operate. Oh, shit. <laughs> if he peels out real hard like that, you would think he's trying to lose a tail. Maybe you don't want to, like, you know. But it makes sense he wanted to make sure there's a car in between. So the car helps block the dude's way of getting out, right? <laughs> Oops. Well, damn. I'm at the north gate, and the machine is stuck. <laughs> God damn, boy. This dude does not fuck around. It makes sense, though, because like he would, clearly if he's willing to do this, he would have totally fucking just ran that fucking gate, right? So it's very smart to have a car in between. At least the guy got out. He doesn't have to have somebody bring him, you know, let him out. You know? <laughs> Man, he hates that motherfucker so much. I don't blame him. I don't hate Chuck anymore, but I don't blame him. Here's where we are. Raymond Chen, six votes. Duncan Springer, six votes. Marcy Ramirez, five votes. Franklin Pickett, Teodora Moon, and Tristan Bolger, three votes each, and Christy Esposito, one vote. Damn, Christy must have sucked. And for what it's worth, I, I think we should give her another look. Man, she sucked. Esposito. I mean, not quite as good as some of the other kids, but they're good. He, this is the kind of person he would be interested solid. in. And face the consequences. Maybe she brings something that the others don't. Interesting. I think that deserves... I think he's reaching them, man. Holy shit. Jimmy, you make a hell of an argument. <laughs> How about we take another vote? <laughs> man, she's going to win this down. I was just kidding. I thought I was... Uh, my whole plan... Pausing. Mark. My whole fucking plan, man, was 
just I was gonna be like, whoever gets the least amount of votes, if it's when, they, when they, I got nervous about this when there was a tie for three three, I've had three votes each. I was like, fuck, I ain't gonna be able to get my joke off because I'd be lining my jokes up sometimes. I could see something coming, I line a joke up. That's how I'm so fast. You may know sometimes I throw these jokes out here real fast. That's because I see an opportunity that uh, a dialogue or a situation may play out a certain way. So I'd line my joke up, and if it lands the way I wanted to, I'm gonna, or I fire the joke. If it doesn't, I forget about it and I move on, right? That's why I'm so fast, man, you know, because th that's just how I operate. So I was going to be like, okay, whoever gets the, the least amount of votes, I'm going to shit on them. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was it, man. I was like, it didn't matter who it was, right? And it, I was like, oh, my God, this is a wonderful opportunity. This person only got one vote. <laughs> Drop the nuke, right? But then it actually becomes a plot point. <laughs> I had no idea. I was just trying to get my joke off. As far as they're concerned, your mistake is just it's who you are. And it's all you are. And yeah, I'm not man, just talking about crush her. He's doing this for a purpose. That's what pisses me off. If he was sincere in trying to help her, I would feel differently. He's just playing with her emotions to be a dick. The more they're going to hate you. Good. Good. <laughs> what Run the hell is he doing? You How does this further your cause, dude? Remember, the winner takes it all. And we have an episode title. <laughs>